Hi guys, welcome to Credit Dispute Cloud. Today I'm going to give you guys a full tutorial on how to sign up, get started, and send out your first dispute letter. Let's get started. First thing what you need to do is sign up, put all your information in, make sure it's correct because this is going to be the same information that's going to be displayed on your dispute letters. So make sure that everything is correctly. Once you put everything in, um, click sign up. Okay, once you sign up, I'm gonna click submit. You'll see your full credit repair contract. Um, listed in the contract is the full disclosure on our rules and regulations um, of the software, or the clo the crow disclosure, the right of the cancellation, um, etc. etc. Um, I do advise for you guys to read the contract thoroughly. And at the end of the process, sign the contract with the signature, signature, and then click submit. Okay, guys. Once you sign the contract, you will be prompt to this screen, and this is basically how we are going to access your credit information and import it into the system. Um, the third party that we use is called Identity IQ. is a phenomenal company. Um, they access credit monitoring and they also give you full access to all three FICO scores and reports which is great um, if you have your your identity IQ information in already you can just plug it in right here but if not you can access or sign up with identity IQ just by clicking the link and you can uh, sign up for a dollar okay but I'm gonna plug in the information this is a dummy account. Let me see. And you just click import. Okay, great. So you just successfully imported your credit report into the CDC software. Um, you should see all three scores with the three major bureaus, Experian, Equifax, and TransUnion. And you should see how it is reporting at this present time. So this is your actual score as it is reporting at this present time. Okay. Now scroll down. If you scroll down, you will see your current dispute status. You will see how many negative items on your uh, credit report at the present time and this will change as you work on your credit report um, So after this I will highly advise you guys to go to the credit course and actually read the 609 Letter instructions. Okay. Now the 609 is a way for you to be able to dispute a certain way that is highly effective and I do highly advise you guys to read this thoroughly so you guys can get a very very full in-depth view of what's necessary for you to dispute this way okay um, let's start the dispute process okay okay so we clicked on start dispute um, and this is just basically a full layout of what is going to be expected during, during this process okay so you know you can scroll through all this and read it thoroughly but I'm going to explain it in real time so it's not necessary so once you get on um, the next screen you will see another tutorial video um, just explaining what's expected um, just you know for you to get a more detailed analysis on how the dispute system works okay well what we're going to exit out of this okay now this is going to be all the negative items on your credit report so basically everything that's on your credit report will show in this screen right here this is a dummy account so it's not a lot of things really actually being reported most of these are inquiries but on an actual credit report these color indicators will indicate what it is versus what it's not okay so all the ones that's in blue will be inquiries all the ones that will be in yellow will be collections and the ones in red would be public records okay um, if you click on any 
of the debt that's on that screen, it will prompt you to another screen and it will show you um, what the debt is in detail. Okay, so um, you can click show more and it'll tell you the data was open, the activity. Now, this is also an inquiry, so it's not going to be a account number attached or anything like that, but if you did have any type of debt and you clicked on it, you will get a detailed view on the entire debt as it will show on your credit report. Okay, uh, let's go back and start the process again. Okay, so like I said, if you click on any of these, they, they will show you uh, the debt more detail as it shows on your credit report. Okay, but let's click next. So on this screen, guys, basically you will have um, the option on how you exactly want to dispute your letters. Um, you basically have two options. You can either use our 609 recommended dispute letter options, or you can use our other variety, 100 plus variety of letters that we have customly written for our clients okay we have had attorneys and underwriters take their time to write these letters individually and these letters work okay um so for instance let's say you want to dispute an inquiry um all the ones in blue is inquiry obviously um you will select round two and you will just look for the letter that says inquiry um let's see inquiry inquiry Okay, credit inquiry removal. Um, you will see credit inquiry removal, and you just click next. Okay, um, once you click next, this is all the inquiries in your dispute letter with your name, address. Well, this is our fake address and fake names. Uh, your social, your date of birth, the creditor's address, and all the items that you requesting to be removed for the inquiries. Um, and this is just basically how you uh, create an inquiry. Now, let's go back and create, say for instance, we don't want to create inquiries. We want to create a dispute letter for a negative to account. So this is the only negative account on here. If you had more, you would select obviously all the negative accounts um and like say for instance we want to select the recommended option um we can do that we would right here we select which month we're currently in in this case we are in our first month this is a four month process and these and this process is specifically designed to dispute any type of rebuttal that the credit uh, bureaus give you. So if the credit bureaus give you some items removed and keep some items on there, the second month is the second month dispute letters is designed to handle that that option and a numerous of others. So it doesn't matter. Just follow the process as it states. So month one, select month one and we're going to select negative account. And we click next. And it's literally that simple, guys. It's literally that simple. This is the full account. This is the full dispute letter. This is the name, address, social, date of birth, etc. and etc. Um, in this case, the 609 letters do recommend for you to get these letters notarized if you don't want to you can just delete it this is a full editing part of the software before you print it so you can edit any of this as you want so if you want to put more information in this or put a, a personal statement in this you can do that as well and you just scroll down and click print And this is the print screen. And you just print the letter as you want. It is that simple, guys. It's just that simple. This is the same software that credit repair companies use. You guys can do this yourself. It's really that simple. Just 
follow the four step process and just make sure that you just stay consistent. The software does everything for you. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact us directly. Our contact information is on our website and have a great day.